I don't care how the weather vane points when the weather vane points too gloomy. It's got to be sunny to me when your eyes look into mine. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those keepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those keepers? She said she'd be here in good time for the Jubilee. And here she comes, Jean Batten, the 25-year-old New Zealand air girl. Nearly three days behind her own record for the outward flight. Still, it's not bad to be the only woman to fly alone to Australia and back. Jean Batten smashed two records when she reached Port Natal, Brazil. 175 miles further on, she had to leave her plane with broken propeller on a beach, and later arrives on horseback to inspect the damage which prevents her flying on. But the 25-year-old New Zealand girl has set up the fastest time for the crossing of the South Atlantic, the fastest time from Britain to Brazil, and she is the first woman to fly the South Atlantic alone. She carried no parachute, life belt, collapsible boat, or wireless. A Brazilian army plane takes her on to Rio, which was her original objective. Here, the daring and brilliant girl pilot is welcomed by an admiring throng on landing and has a modest word for the mic. I'm very pleased indeed to have arrived safely and soundly in Brazil and do have, incidentally, created a new record for the London-Brazil flight and also for the crossing of the Atlantic Ocean. Jean Batten is back in Britain. Wearing the badges of honorary membership of the Brazilian, Argentine, and Uruguayan Air Forces. I feel very honored indeed to have received such a wonderful welcome wherever I have been. Actually, when I left England, I had no intention of attacking Mr. Mollison's England Brazil record, but as you know, everything went so well that I was able to accomplish the England Brazil record in um, 61 hours, thereby breaking Mr. Mollison's time by approximately one day. And the Air France record for the South Atlantic Ocean by approximately two hours. And here being swung ashore is the little machine which carried her safely on her courageous... that some people have been here since early this morning and I'm only sorry that I could not have arrived sooner but after all it is a woman's privilege to be a little late Hinkler, Kingsford Smith, Amy Johnson, Mollison, Scott and now Jean Batten who shall say that the fame of the New Zealand girl will not surpass them all at limb she is carried from her Percival Gull machine numb with cramp but her new record achieved Five days, 18 hours and 14 minutes from Australia to England. Only a brief halt must suffice, and she's on her way again to Croydon. You may note the time by the airport clock, as with hundreds to greet her, the conquering air girl lands her machine safely and taxis in towards the crowds. First words of welcome come from her mother, Mrs. Batten, and the High Commissioner for New Zealand. Then, as the holder of the two-way solo record to Australia complies with a request for a message, Study her graceful features and hear what she says. I'm well ahead of my own schedule, and I never expected to break the record by such a large margin. Police as well as civilians shoulder her through the crowds, in exaltation this time not for weariness. And another chapter of aerial history is written with the name of a girl. In our personality column this week, we give pride of place to Jean Batten. She flew the South Atlantic in the same unostentatious manner that Mrs. Markham flew the North Atlantic. And now... I'm using the same aeroplane in which I flew to South America last November, and I have put just the same amount of care and preparation into the organization of this flight, so that I trust it will meet with the same success as the others. I feel very sorry indeed to leave England, as I've come to look on London now as my second home, but I do hope one day to come back again, perhaps next year for the coronation. You will have gathered, if you didn't know already, that she's a New Zealander. And it's for New Zealand that she sets off from Lim by moonlight. Feats of aviation, which a few years ago used to defy the endurance of men, seem now to be an easy mark for women, and for one woman in particular, amazing Jean Batten, whose crossing of the Tasman Sea crowns a flight during which she broke the solo record from England to Australia. Here's what she said on her last arrival in Australia, and it's applicable today. I want you all to know 
how pleased and how thrilled I am to be with you here in Sydney this afternoon and to realize uh, that I am so near to my native land and that I have accomplished the flight uh, successfully. Oh, those wee birds, how they hit me time. Knock me out. Where'd you get those eyes? Where'd you get them? Won't you put me wide? Don't you die, man. Pay to advertise. Tell them about me. Where did you get those eyes?